I went from this to this literally in 90 days. And in this video, I am going to teach you exactly how. And keep in mind, yes, I did exercise, I did eat healthy, but I typically do that stuff on a regular basis. So what was the actual shift that I made to manifest this into fruition? Now, I know what you're thinking. I don't have a fast metabolism. I'm not a magician, but I did know how to use the law of attraction. And that is exactly how I changed my appearance. And if you're new here, we talk all about law of attraction, manifestation, personal development, spirituality, health, and wellness. And in this video specifically, we are going to talk about how to use the law of attraction to change your physical appearance. And what I'm going to do for you in this video is I am going to share exactly how in three simple steps. So you're going to want to make sure that you watch all the way through until the end, because the third step is actually one that you can start doing today day to start making this happen. Now, I've been practicing the law of attraction for so many years, and when I first discovered it, I manifested an unexpected $5,000 check in the mail, which I'll put up here so you can actually take a look for yourself and watch that video. And when I realized that I can manifest money, I can manifest relationships, I said, why not my health? And body image is something that I used to really struggle with. And truthfully, I don't look like that after picture right now. And what I've learned is that it's all about your energy and frequency. I'm thinking about doing another challenge where I actually show you how my physical body changes based on my thoughts and based on my inspired action. This transformation that I'm going to share with you is not that I was specifically set out to do a challenge, but I was actually just doing it subconsciously and I didn't realize until after. So imagine what I could do if I could really create a challenge with intention. Now, I want to make it abundantly clear that you can manifest anything you desire, whether it be better health, a different body, a bigger nose, bigger boobs, whatever you want, you can have it. But I am only speaking from my experience that I have manifested an abundance of things like my dream body, my soulmate, a six figure plus online empire, a career as a full time content creator, my own online business, quitting my job on Wall Street, getting out of student debt. And I share about a lot of these on my channel. So if if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. I know how easy it can be to forget that. And I am on this journey to actually help as many people as possible through my free content on YouTube. So you probably have seen me on Instagram or TikTok, but YouTube is really where I'm going in depth in more detail. So make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification for more weekly videos on everything, manifestation, spirituality, mental health, all that great stuff. Now it's time to get right into the video. So the very first thing that you must do before trying to manifest any physical appearance change using the law of attraction is actually understand what the law of attraction is. So back in 2019, I read The Secret, this book right here, and this book literally changed my life. So I'm going to link it for you in the description below, but this book teaches you all about what the law of attraction is. So the law of attraction in very simple terms states that like attracts like. So that means that your thoughts are actually creating your reality reality in every single moment. So basically think of it like this. You are made up of energy and everything around you is also made up of energy and energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It can only be transformed. So that is really sharing more on the law of perpetual transmutation, but don't worry. You don't have to know about that for this video, but what you do have to know is the words that you say matter. And if you don't believe me, you can look up Masaru Emoto who did an actual experiment on the way that he spoke to water particles and they actually changed their form, their like crystallized form based on the words that he was speaking to the water particles. Or have you ever seen those experiments where people talk to plants and the ones that they speak to positively grow, the ones they speak to negatively die? And it's so true. It's because we're all made up of energy. So just because you're living in a physical body, it's not a solidified thing. So what I mean by that and how to really understand that is your body is made up of energy. Just like we said that this camera is made up of energy, my bed is made up of energy, every single thing has energy and is made up of it. So what about if you can change the energy and the frequency that you're vibrating on? So the law of attraction actually goes hand in hand with the other 11 universal laws. Like I said, we're not going to go into much detail, but what is important is to remember that your thoughts create your reality. And 
in that everything is made up of energy and you can create anything you want and become the true creator of your story and manifest your dream life by understanding that you are energy and you are the energy that you put out. So let me break this down a little bit simpler for you and give you one final key takeaway here. So when you create a new belief system, you have new thoughts. So for example, if you think negatively like I'm so fat, I'm not good enough, I'm unhealthy, that's what's continuing to manifest into your life. So the first step is you have to change your thoughts. So what I did specifically, and I'm going to expand on this more later in the video, but when you change your thoughts from I am fat to I am beautiful, lean, and healthy, well, then you start getting new feelings. You start feeling better. Even when I said those ugly words like I am fat, I am unhealthy, didn't make me feel good just now. So when you change your thoughts, then you have new feelings and then you take action on those new feelings and that new belief system. And then you work in harmony with the law of attraction to manifest it into fruition. So that's how it really works. Thoughts, feelings, action, manifestation. That's really on simple terms how you can think of it. Okay, so before we get into the really true three simple steps, I want to share with you that this is not instantaneous. So it's not that you think of your dream body and then the next morning you wake up and you have your dream body. Now, if we're literally speaking, yes, that could happen, but I don't want you to feel let down or put pressure or anxiety on yourself because that creates resistance. I want you to trust that no matter what, everything is working out for you. And number two, I want you to trust that the universe has your back. The universe is going to give you exactly what you want or something greater. So you have to really let go and trust that everything is working out for you. And three, I want you to follow your intuition. So if your intuition is telling you to do something, if your intuition is saying, hey, don't go to the gym today, go for a walk, or don't eat this, eat that instead, it's going to make me feel better. Follow your intuition always. So those are like the three most important things. Now, let's get into the three simple steps to how I manifested a physical appearance change using the law of attraction and how you can too. So step one is more of like a disclaimer, but as well as a simple step that it is so important for you to realize because this is the foundation of any physical appearance change. Step one is to truly love yourself. And I'm not being cliche. I am being so abundantly clear that you have to come from a place of love. Now, I have tried so many times in the past to lose weight, to get my dream body, to get my ideal body, and it only worked this one specific time because I was so focused on self-love, loving myself, and accepting myself for who I was. So it's very important to understand that you are beautiful exactly as you are. But I do understand that we can still love ourselves but want to be better. You have to come from a place of acceptance and truly loving who you are right now today and that opens the space and creates the space for change. You can't create any change without first feeling grateful, without first feeling accepting, and without first feeling love for who you already are. So in this first step, I want you to really think about why you're grateful for the body that you currently have, how much your body has done for you so far. Whether you're trying to manifest bigger boobs, a smaller nose, you want to manifest weight loss, whatever it is, first love your body for what it is right now. So as you know, I'm all about taking inspired action. So if you haven't already or you aren't yet, take some notes here because this is so important. And like I said, the third step really is the most important to how you can start taking practical action today. So you're going to want to stay tuned all the way until the end because I'm going to give you actually simple steps and actual tangible action that you can use in your daily life starting today. So step one, just to recap, is to love yourself and to come from a place of love, abundance, and acceptance for who who you currently are today. Now, step two is shifting your mindset. So before, like I said, I was so deep rooted in conditioning, past conditioning, past experiences, past limiting beliefs that I was short and I was stubby and I had a big butt. So it was impossible for me to have a flat stomach or it was impossible
possible for me to be lean and healthy and love my body because I was short. So these are all limiting beliefs. Now, the first step in changing those limiting beliefs is understanding that you are the creator of your reality. So the more that you say, I'm fat, I hate the way I look, that's what's manifesting. So step two is to shift your mindset. When I realized that I had to first shift my mindset before I could go to the gym, before I could eat healthy, before I could do any of these things, it was so important for me to remember where I was actually coming from. That's why I had spent years exercising in the gym and seeing no results. It's not that the workout plan wasn't working for me. It was that I wasn't in alignment with my true power as a creator. And the words that I was saying was self-deprecating and standing in my way. So step two is start shifting your mindset around one where you understand that you are in control of your health. You are in control of your body. You are in control of everything that happens to you. And remembering, it's not actually happening to you, but rather for you. So step two is to shift your mindset. Acknowledge the things that you're saying. So if you, for example, look in the mirror and say, I'm so ugly, change that. So start saying, I am beautiful and I love the way I am. I am on the journey to living in my best ideal body. Really acknowledge and become aware of the things that you say because you probably don't don't even realize that it's actually manifesting more of that negativity, more of that story that you actually don't want for yourself. So before we get into step three, the most important step, leave me a comment below and let me know if this is making sense. If this is making sense for you, leave me a comment below and say, I'm ready. And that'll let me know that you're really ready to change your mindset and really change your life. Now, step three and the most important step is to take inspired action. Now, I talk about this so much on my channel. So if you're new here, you're really in for a treat. And if you're a loyal follower or subscriber, thank you so much for being here. And I know you need this reminder today because I share about this all the time and it's really what helps people create true sustainable change. Now, you can't just think of your dream body and it's going to come overnight. You can't just think of your dream body and take no action because it will never work. You have to take inspired action. So what I mean by this, for me personally in my experience, when I decided that I was going to come from a place of love, I was going to change my mindset. I was really going to take control of my health because I am in control. I am holding the pen up my life, I got intuitive signs of what action to take. So for example, I felt like I was overeating. I felt like I was always eating when I was stressed or when I was bored or I wouldn't eat for a long time and then I would binge eat. So it really was just like unhealthy. And coincidentally, this was actually right when COVID hit. So the initial picture that you see here was actually in March, 2020. Now the end result was in June, 2020. So this was like peak COVID. COVID time. So what did I do differently? Why were some people actually gaining weight and I was losing weight? It's kind of strange to think about because I was home, I was less active, for example, things like that. So what's so important is that you take inspired action, take those intuitive signs. So for me, I started intermittent fasting because I felt like that would help me have a time window and I knew exactly when I would eat. So from 12 to 8 p.m. So I was actually eating less and more intentionally. And then it actually sped up my metabolism as well. So that was an intuitive sign that I got to move with that and it all ended up working out in the end. Now, another thing is that I prioritized low intensity movement because that's what felt good for my body. So I was doing things like Melissa Wood Health, yoga, Pilates, going for long walks. Then some days I would do HIIT workouts. I didn't have a specific workout plan. I just wanted to care for my body. So taking inspired action will come to you and it will flow through you once you change your mindset. Now, the next actionable step that I want you to take is I want you to stand naked in the mirror Yes, I did this. Stand naked in the mirror and thank your body, every single part of your body. So thank your arm, thank your legs, thank your stomach. So some things that I would say is thank you legs for taking me through the most beautiful countries and allowing me to travel the world. Thank you tummy for enjoying the most delicious meals from all different cultures and cuisines. Thank you hands for helping me text and create content and give me this massive abundance to really reach people from all around the world because I have my hands and my fingers. So thank 
make your body come from a place of gratitude, like I said. Now, another thing that you can do is to start saying positive affirmations around your ideal body and what you want. So the way that you quantum leap out of the person that you are into the person that you want to be is by actually changing your verbiage. So your words matter. I said that in the beginning of this video and it's so, so important. So start saying positive affirmations in the mirror, like I am beautiful and literally exactly what you want as if they've already happened. Say them in the present tense, like I am so happy and grateful that now I have a bigger cup size. I am so happy and grateful that I am now 115 pounds. I am so happy and grateful that my skin is glowing and radiant. So say these affirmations every single morning in the mirror to retrain your brain. Now remember, this really is a practice and this really is a lifestyle. So saying your positive affirmations, shifting your mindset, looking in the mirror and loving yourself for who you are. Maybe you want to create a morning routine around this, something that works for you and something that is easy to follow. So for me, what's easy to follow is three sentences of gratitude every single morning and three positive affirmations. So I write them down in my journal and then I repeat them back to myself. So maybe that will help you. So if you love this video, leave me a comment, leave me a thumbs up and just remember that you are so beautiful exactly as you are, but it's okay to want to change and be better and grow and manifest your dream life. But just remember to first come from a place of love, acceptance and gratitude and it will all magically unfold. You'll get the intuitive nudges about what inspired action to take, whether that be to do a workout class or to sign up with a personal trainer, whatever it is. Just remember that when you're coming from a place of true love, true gratitude, true abundance, the answers flow through you. You will know intuitively exactly what action to take to move in harmony with that. But just remember that you have to first change your belief system. You have to reinvent your story and you have to really build up from there because that is what changes everything. The law of attraction says like attracts like. So thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> no. <laughs> My computer literally just went black and it was like fully charged. Oh no. I literally went to Apple Store a few weeks ago and they're like, yeah, one day your computer is literally just going to die. And I was like, wait, what? And I was like, no, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. And I swear, like it was on like a hundred and you, you can't see it now, but it literally just died. So that's amazing. The show must go on. Okay. We are back in business now and I cannot believe that just happened in the middle of this video. Okay. 12 seconds later. Oh no, now my camera's dying. Okay, we are gonna get through this video. We are going to push through.